Yo, Dan Larson here. This week we are going to create this awesome barrier lifestyle scroll. So this was in context and this is the pure grow sound. And it's and it is coming from Serum, but the main character is given by well in most of the cases by the effects. So this is the final grow, but without the effects. Uh, it just sounds well crap. Okay, the main idea is to modulate every parameter using one macro knob, so this way I was able to, you know, draw in some, some articulation for the grow, and this is used by the macro, so check this. So all you can see here is the modulated parameters. I modulated the phaser frequency, oscillator A warp, which is asymmetric plus minus, the filter cutoff frequency here, which is an AP, HP filter, and the distortion frequency, because in the effects I used up the distortion plugins inner filter uh, stuff in band pace mode. But okay, let's jump into the patch, the preset itself. So also letter E was a custom way from what I just, you know, draw in, drawed in. I added some random harmonics and, uh, you know, some randomized uh, phase bins. And this pretty simple waveform came out. So this was really, really simple. I added three voices unison with slide detunes. Well, this is not slide. Anyway, uh, around 50% unison. Uh, detune and on the second oscillator on oscillator B I used up I mean I use up oscillator A to modulate oscillator B frequency uh, so I use a frequency modulation Okay, and on the filter, I use an HP filter, which is the main uh, tool to make the sound articulate like a growling monster really opened, uh, opened its mouth with high resonance. And I also use the peak filter because this HP filter means it's a high pace and a peak filter. And the peak is modulated by this knob, the frequency knob. As you can see, this peak goes up and down as I move the knob. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> so this is all. And on the effects, I use the phaser and the distortion, as I had showed you before, on with hard clip type of distortion. I pushed up the full drive, and I use the band pace filter with high resonance, which also modulated by this macro knob. As you can see, this little dot, this little star, or, or what is this? This is this represents the modulation curve where where the position of the modulation is on distortion filter. Okay, so a compressor and another EQ to you know boost the frequency around 150 hertz. So this is the pure uh, serum preset, which sounds crap. <laughs> and in this patch, in this, in this sound, in this preset, I set up a record, I believe, because I don't remember I used these amounts of OTTs on one sound. And the number is six, uh, if I count it by right. one, two, three, four, five, and another one here. So I use six OTTs to make the sound really nice and sharp. But the first is another phaser. It doesn't do too much, but I use the envelope, which means that when you push the keyboard on your keyboard, it sets an envelope and starts moving the sound based on the amount what you set here. I set it 
uh, 36.5%. And also you can set the attack time and the release time for the, for the envelope of the phaser um, frequency. This doesn't do anything with the feedback. <laughs> Okay, another EQ to, to cut some holes in the spectrum, which is very essential if you want to make, you know, uh, <clears throat> human-y or vocal-y sounds. You know, I just followed my ears and cut out all the frequencies what I didn't like. Those those distorted and and phaser uh, phaser created frequencies. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and I have a group of OTTs here, which is five OTTs at the same group. Let's try to declick uh, them, and maybe it could work with less number of OTTs. Let's see. <laughs> Yes, maybe you will like with two OTTs, but one is definitely not enough. But I think three more is essential. Uh, three, three more is needed because the movement when you turn the mo the macro knob is different if you don't add more OTTs. Somewhere it goes to more digital. And I think with the OTTs, with more OTTs, it's a little more noisy. Not very digital, we want some... Not digital, but more organic sound. And OTTs make a very good job here. So anyway, this was the OTT section. I added some sl slight saturation with 4.5 decibels of drive. Some EQing, boosting up the middles and the middle lows. And I cut out, cut it, yes, I cut out at, at around 6 kilohertz. And another OTT after the EQs. To glue everything together. Another EQ to cut the very highs. Okay, and it's another saturator at the end of the show. And what I also use here is this output knob of the saturator, because, you know, I'm sure you know that OTT generates lots of noises when you stop the sound. It starts to generate and, you know, just pulls up every sound what the, what the instrument generates. And this is not good, not good in your mix, so you need to cut it out, even... You have se well, you have several options. What I usually do, is, for example, and this this is the noise what we don't want here. This little gray stuff, and I just push delete button and I delete it because when you freeze the track, it turns uh, the whole track into an audio file. So from this point, you can just delete this out. What you don't want. Or the other option here is I use the output knob of saturator plugin and I just modulate it, you know, we don't need this. Uh, we don't need anything from the synthesizer, from the instrument sound after this point. So I just pull back all the output and it will mute. So this is the purpose of the output knob. It's not important, but for, for you know, for the for the modulation and for if you want to articulate a sound i think i think you should use it but it's really up on you so this was the sound now i screw it up but let's see no this is not anyway you will have the download options so your version will sound fine and in the next video i would like to show you how I made <clears throat> this little future bassy trappy loop. I used only synthesizer in this loop. I didn't use any sample. Uh, so th th this is why probably it, it will take more than one uh, video. So 
this little loop. I think it's really nice. So let's check it. Okay, I lied because <laughs> I use this vocally loop here. This is the only sample. So without that, Okay, and this one affects more. <laughs> Sorry for lying. <laughs> but anyway, this is the pure synthesis here, no samples. So I hope you like it. And in the next few videos, we will try to recreate, recreate all this stuff here and show you how I made this little loop. So stay tuned. Please share my videos, talk about it on uh, Facebook, on Twitter or Instagram or everywhere else. Uh, I really need your support. So see you next time, guys. Bye bye.